Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Katerina, Direct Planet Ventures, uh, but tonight I'm going to be to live stream, of course. As usual, I'm here tonight with uh, a wine producer from Sicily, Roberto Caruso, from the Asuli Winery family. Okay, welcome, Roberto. I'm happy to have you here tonight. So, do you want to present yourself? Of course. Thank you to you, Katerina. Nice to meet you. So, I'm Roberto Caruso uh, from Asuli family. I represent the third generation of Caruso family into this business. My grandfather was the first owner of our land, and it was a very old story. Um, in these two and these three generations, we follow the Sicilian history of the of the vineyard, and a lot of things changed. But we speak more in detail what changed and where are we are now and what we are doing now. First of all, I want to just share with you where we are. We are in the north northwestern part of Sicily, so, uh, between Marsala and Mazzara, and the main city is Trapani, very close to the coast, like 20 kilo kilometers from Trapani, and very close to the sea, like 15 kilometers from the, from the seaside. I, I try to show you a little map that we use during our ferry to show to our customer, to our guests, where we are. I don't know if you can see well. I uh, yeah, I think so. Let me see. Yeah. Yes, if somebody know our beautiful island can understand where we are. This area is um, very, very popular for um, some kind of, uh, of variety of grapes. First of all, I want I want to speak about what Asuli mean. Asuli, is our brand, of course, it mean it's a, a Sicilian dialect word that mean in front of the sun. Of course, sun is a, one of the most uh, uh, important characteristics for us, for our for our terroir, for our site. We we produce, we grow, we produce, we offer only only one hundred percent. Autochthonal grapes. I, I told you about white wine like Insolia, Grillo, Zibibo, and our gray, uh, red grapes are, um, we produce more Nero d'Avola and Perricone. We produce also Sierra, that's by the truth, it's not the uh, really, uh, really, really autochthonal grapes. No, but, but it's everybody knows that Sierra is very good in our, in our highlands. It become, become a great, a great, uh, great great wine and uh, another characteristic of our philosophy is that all our bottle are made by 100 percent wine grapes no blend yes only one variety we have two different line of wine one line this line i i call him like I don't like the entry level, but it's a, like a presentation level because it's without oak and uh, mm. barrel aging, but only with, uh, with the um, steel tank. Mm. And we we produce uh, Lorlando, our 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 first Nero Dower that we that we taste to, uh, this evening. Yeah. Today. Yes. And, yes. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're also ready. Great. Yes, I so opened it a bit early. Open it. I'm ready soon. And also we produce Insolia, Grillo, and Zibibo. From from the this year, the 2019, it is our first organic Everest. So we was from from ever we was in uh, Riduzione di Fitofarmaci. Help me to explain to our friend Riduzione di Fitofarmaci. Please. Uh, they were in a reduced re re regime where they used a reduced quantity of, of chemical products. Yes, this is from, from, from ever, but from three years, we start in the process that's, uh, that's to, be, to be an organic farm. And uh, now the transition from uh, kind of conventional to organic. Yes, it is. and this is uh, the last, the last era, it was our first totally organic uh, mm. uh, Everest. 
But if we go back to talk a bit about the vineyards, uh, so if you would describe the, the microclimate, the soil for somebody, I mean, of course, all of the people watching, I think, know about Sicily, but they might not know the specific areas and what's what's particular about the area where you are between Trabzon yes, yes. and Trabzon. I think you explain our... Um, so we are speaking about among 120 hect uh, hectares. Not all in one area, but different area. So, for example, 14, 40 hectares are the, the biggest part. The biggest part are around the the cellar, but mm. it's also different area because we are looking for different sea level high, different sun uh, exposition. Yes, it's, yes. It's right. yes. Uh, Less or, or more windy, mm. or more wet, soil wet, and also, yeah. for example, um, a characteristic of our soil, main part soil, is um, very rich about stone, pebble, um, um, mineral. Somewhere are clay. Somewhere are um, sabias. Um, uh, how do you say How say sabia? Sand. Sand. Yes, some sand. Yes, sorry, sorry. Also from India. So we, but the most important uh, is the difference from the sea level. For example, for this reason, uh, this year we are starting to produce in, in a very high sea level um, quotes. I speak about six six hundred six hundred fifteen uh, meter from the sea level, and this is amazing place where we where we will grow our top wine, like top Pericone and Nero Daula. This is very particular for our area because um, usually uh, we are speaking about 150, 250 meters from the sea level. Mm. So we choose different area for grow different grapes, depends the characteristic of the soil. It depends what we want, we want to push in this wine. If less minerality or more sun, more st strong sun, or more more water, and depends also for the timing of the Everest. We usually start we usually start to make the, the make the Everest in the middle of August with the white varieties, and we finish among depends for how much is hot the, the season because you you need to remember where we are. We are very very out area in summer, and sometimes we can yeah. have 14 degrees in the August of September. And usually we, we finish with the Nero Davola, it's the last variety that we grow. We, we can say that Nero Davola is maybe the most popular red grapes in, in our area. And after yeah. we talk about Pericone, because it's an interesting story, um, matching also with another, our philosophy in our uh, in our company in our cellar because Pericon is Pericon is not a popular it's not a popular grapes but it's disappeared is a missing missing varieties and we discover it again and about after we can speak up a, a bit uh, about this topic but Nero Davola so I told you is the most important grapes most popular grapes uh, a lot of part of the world you can find Nero Davola and for these grapes, we choose the driest part of our, of our soil. We don't need water, we don't want water. So we are also afraid for humidity. And we want the most strong exposition to the sun. So it's like tougher. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, yeah. It, for 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 these grapes, we like windy and sun and big stone. Big stone, okay. big stone into the soil can permit to us to maintain dry the soil. Okay, like a filter. No, no. When rain, yeah. when rain in autumn, in winter, when rain, this big. Um, we have round stone. Like it's correct. I don't say it's so co correct. Pebble, pebble. Pebble, pebble stone. Yeah. Oh, sorry for yeah. the problem with pebble. So we, because, um, for example, uh, uh, Nero Davola is uh, like we grow Nero Davola in a, like a, 
prehistoric river. Okay, you know, okay. And, but you, you can image the prehistoric river walking around, walk, walk around and make this round stone. This round stone is make the soil very light. So the, the water never stay, never maintain the soil, but go. Okay, okay. So it's drained very easily. The the two, yeah. But it's very important to speak for where we are for this part of Sicily and a new um, philosophy of making wine. Not all. Oh, we have a comment. Uh, oh, hi, Bart. Hello. So, what's the perfect soil for Girillo? I think we spoke about that, but you could uh, repeat perhaps so people. Yes. yes, yes. Perfect soil for, for, for us, of course, and we, 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 use, we use it. Where we have a particular uh, stone like um, uh, gesso. Let me please, Katarina, for gesso. Shark. 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 Yes. Uh, clay. A good okay. clay. A good balance from uh, wet wet soil. Not too much strong sun exposition because Grillo has uh, very delicate uh, varieties. And it's very important also for Grillo the timing of the Everest. Okay. And okay. Grillo need also, and this is our experience, most high level from the sea, from most high, high, so high altitude. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, this is for one reason more uh, very important because you know the um, diff temp diff uh, temperature difference between night and day. This is push out more the um, aromatic part of the white grape. This answer is same for Grillo, is same for Insolia, is same for our Zebibo as well, because it's the okay. same philosophy for for white grapes, for our um, white grapes. If you are, you tell a bit also the story about uh, uh, who you're working with in the winery and who is yeah. the. Is it, we we are um, a family a family company. From from the right of the screen, uh, it's my it's me. Uh, in the in the middle, Michele, my cousin Michele, and uh, his sister Nicoletta. And Nicoletta and Michele are the the son of Roberto. Roberto is my uncle, it's the same same name as me, and he is the the boss of of Asuri. But but the two we we follow all the. Uh, production and selling, commercial and some marketing, um, developing of the of the of the company. We are a young company because Asuri is made from twelve years no more, and we are deep in the market from six years no more. We are and we're, well now we are pushing a lot to also our. A colleague, we have also some export manager and marketing uh, marketing manager, of course. And um, we 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 work not not always together because we, for example, me and Nicoletta travel more. But Michele, for example, is in the, the guy in the middle of the, the picture, is the one of the uh, responsible or um, the chief the chief of the production. Uh, uh, production activity. So he lives in the cellar. We, okay. we we lock we lock him into the cellar. <laughs> okay. He is very he is very lucky because it's a hard job, of course, but he can live in an amazing and quiet quiet area. As they, okay. they are a bit a bit younger, a bit younger than me. But um, it's interesting to say that our history come from very old family history. Not not born with the wine because my grand my grandfather our grandfather always always have the the grapes but not make the wine but we come from marble marble um extraction and tra and transformation uh, business for this reason for example all our uh cellar is made from a uh, wonderful marble that we extract very, very, very near from the cellar, like 
half hour by, by car from Sella. It's called Per Lago di Sicilia. It's a very popular stone there that my grandfather discovered uh, more 100 years ago. And we are using for, we use it, we use it, it for build them all the binary. And this is for Toulouse, of course, for use our stone. It's for economic reason, but also because we this is following our philosophy of respect of the our area. I mean, respect. For example, we don't use crane stone. We don't use chemical treatment. We we have sun um, panelli solari. Sorry, that to me to me uh, sun panels. Yes, sun panel. We have solar panels. We are looking for reduce the impact. Of course, and we we reuse all the water that we use in the in the cellar for cleaning the machine for cleaning. So it's also, it's also it's so it's sustainable as a winery, also. So yes, 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 yes. It's, uh, right now, I think this a winery young like us can't can't do different. This is the minimum. It's not something particular, but of course we are lucky for the stone, so we we use the, the stone. But for other stuff, it's the minimum to be to be to respect to respect our place. This is the first the first of all. And mm -hmm. uh, about history, and it's very interesting. I, I told you some some day ago when we speak about our vineyard that we are we are trying to we um, we are trying to discover it again. Uh, our tradition yeah. and our culture with uh, uh, no very popular activity. We, I call it, I, I call it experimental field. I mean, oh it's, yes, I forgot to ask about that uh, experimental vineyard. I think that yeah. was very interesting. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, us with uh, with um, collaboration of our winemaker and the University of Palermo and Trapani. Um, discovered uh, some disappeared, lost, missing variety that was um, missing from a lot of reason for because less less uh, quantity of production, uh, very difficult to transform, not interesting, and also very very old. Someone also without name, but we discovered someone. Like exactly 15, and we uh, try to make this a uh, very old grapes in 15 different line in our uh, vineyard. Mm -hmm. From four here, every year we do some experiment. Okay. We, we do little, very little, little Everest, and right. super little vinification to mm -hmm. try to understand what happened. If it's good, if it good to, to use it, mm. if, if we can use it. Per Ricone, that is, is one of these. This is one, one of these, of course. Because Per Ricone, it, it was the real, instead of Nero Davoli, this is very popular, of course. But Per Ricone is the real our autochthonal grapes of our area. And in the past, a lot of years ago, the owner don't want it more. Because few quantities of the grapes in the plants per plant and very delicate to transform and very hard for the um, light color, no big alcohol. So when I told you, we remember what we told when yeah. the story was different. Pericone wasn't wasn't interesting, but by the truth. Pericone has amazing grapes, and with Pericone we do our one of our our best red wine because it's very I, different. I like from, Pericone a lot. Yeah, but I, I like all these obscure. Very, very elegant. Somebody that drink Pericone say, "Oh, this is from Sicily. It's true, real? Yes, this is Sicily because Sicily is not only strong, uh, aggressive tannins." This is um, something to change in our mentality, in the consumer. I think also, uh, I mean, 
There was a question from a friend of mine here on, on WhatsApp now, but because she was also talking about the, asking about the Nero Davola, because there's been a change in the way of making Nero Davola, no? Yes, I'm really very, very much buddy and very kind of aggressive. Yeah. Um, yes, yes. Um, a lot of customers, a lot of consumers think that's on the past. I'm also some someone now because there are a lot of um, sellers that continue to do it. That's Pericone, eh, Pericone, Nero Davola, sorry is a turning bomb mm. so that cuts your tongue that you can it's hard to pairing with food with too much strong only big alcohol no more it's totally wrong mm. this, this is a way to make nero davola but it's not nero davola fault it's a human <laughs> fault of course because pericone pericone nero davola is food of mature fruits so tannins mediterranean herbs minerality right strong strong sapidity i don't know i'm sorry i don't i can say i don't know the english word for capperi uh and, capers capers yeah capers it's medicinal medicinal no? you can feel, yes you can feel it from the nose to the mouth capri capris leaves and you can uh, also feel from the nose the um, Mediterranean green herbs, so very complex. A lot of a lot of uh, parfum, uh, black pepper as one of these, for example. Red fruit, red, red fruit matter is another another of these. So we need to change the point of view. The point of view to to uh, Nero Davola. Of course, you need to be choose our original Nero Davola, Of course made from the owner of the vineyards and not from the owner of the, the bottle only. <laughs> True. You know what I mean? And also because the oak, I mean, the barrique was a bit too aggressive normally in this yes. kind of other wine. Because a lot of producers follow what the market wants. So in the past, for example, a lot of US customer was looking for too much strong barrique wood. So, okay, they want it, we can do it. But it's not a long-term philosophy because when no. the market change you you are with your barrique and without personality but that's so, also a bit like in many regions like also the the galliopo chiro was a bit like that until 10 years ago too i mean yeah a lot yeah. of producers trying to kill the galliopo with uh, yeah, with yeah, yeah. And then the, we 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 use wood, wood of course uh, not not in this bottle not in uh, l'orlando because it's only three, four mouth of uh, inox tank, and after three, four mouth of bottle. But we have L'Orlando Reserva that made uh, one year a big barrel, and also our top Nero Davola Basi that made two year in big barrel. So things have been changing in Sicily with the producers now too. Do you see a, a change? Is there a kind of a larger collaboration be between larger and smaller wineries in Sicily now too, or is it uh, is there kind of a gap between the larger and the smaller producers? Uh, it's not a real uh, gap, but small small companies, small uh, seller start from 10, 15 years, so they start from soon to a new philosophy like us, big company already have the market, so they are very deep in the market, but they follow maybe the um, little seller mentality philosophy because they understood, of course, because they are very uh, ready to understood that the, uh, what the customer wants from Sicily is different. It's not Cabernet Sauvignon more, it's no more Chardonnay, it's not more, other international grape, but if I drink Sicily, I won't drink terroir. I won't drink autochthonal grapes. So they uh, they follow. Maybe we follow them to understand how we can push more in the market. But they follow the little little company to to understand what is the best way to be mm. or, original. Original to make uh, an experience to the customer, and not not only something to drink, some alcohol to okay. drink. 
So could we say something more about before we end uh, about the nettle dabola? We we talked about that it's uh, the typical uh, is the Mediterranean herbs. Yes, we do, during our conversation we just maybe touched some point of of, yeah. our, of our glass, and I, I can say about Lorlando that's it's our yes we show both our bottle. This is um, the most produced wine in our uh, cellar. And this is also the most selling, and we have um, this most award wine. With this, with this wine, we won for uh, three year consecutive. It's right, consecutive, Caterina. Um, consecutivamente, three years. Three years in a row, they had. A... Yes, three years in a row. The main, the most important challenge in Italy. It's called. Uh, uh, Gambero, so we, we we won the three glasses it's like a top top in the red wine, and we we have a lot of, um, also very good point in all uh, a lot of uh, international guides. Um, so this is our presentation on Nero Davola. We repeat, I repeat it's all this uh, inox steel and uh, about three months, three months, and after three months in bottle. You can see the color, first of all, it's the ruby. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I can. Yeah, it's very purple. You can feel what I what I spoken before about tanning. But it's also a bit spicy, you know. Well, it's amazing. Mm. Oh, thank you to you, Bart. <laughs> You. Cheers. Thank yeah. you, Bart. Yes, um, tenny are balanced and you can feel black pepper, like spacing. Yeah. It's first of all. Capri. Well, you feel also the sea, like the salt, no? The sea. Yes, yeah. When I when I'm, speak about the um, capri leaves, sorry, you can help me to say Take again. Capri leaf. And, and I mean, this is the, my meaning. Something salty, yeah. Some, some herbs with salt. If you can make when you when you buy pepper, pepper leaves, you, this is this is the the first sensation. Sometimes some someone asks me, but this bottle made wood? It's no, no, absolutely not. Because I can feel some vanilla. Because always person yeah. think that vanilla because it's true. Vanilla, yes, the spice, spice part. This vanilla come from usually come from the roots, come from the barrel. But maybe some fun mistake. Vanilla with soft spice, and you yeah. can have a good long time in, in your mouth, make you salivation, good yes. salivation, long salivation. But it's also some floral. Uh, yes, violets. Yeah, yeah violets. Violet, yeah. the, the first first flower that you can that, mm. that, you, that you can feel. Uh, of course, this is uh, I think the nice, interesting side of of the wine. Yeah, because it's very complex. Even if I mean, okay, the still a bit takes out, make the flavors come out a bit more, no, because. Uh, even if you, you use the big casks also there, but still with the steel you feel more all the flavors a bit more clearly, you know? From the first to the third taste change, you can you, you can feel some something new. Um I don't know when you open your bottle, but I I opened it, uh, this bottle right now ten minutes ago with you. But uh, No, I opened it like uh well, now it's almost two hours ago. Okay, okay. So we, we, we know because everybody told us you need to open one hour, two hours, depends how many here aging it is. It's, it's right. But it's also fun to open the bottle not too much time before and to feel the changing during the testing. Of course, if you are four or five person, it's, you, can't, you can't do it because one glass by by one is uh, by each is finished the wine. But if for two person or a long tasting, it's very it's very interesting to check feel how how it changed in the glass. 
And the wife was fantastic. I mean, okay, it was the entry level, but the the zibibo, the dried zibibo, I think that was really <laughs> like a wine you drink. Uh, interesting. Like fruit juice or something. <laughs> interesting. But it's still very interesting. structured, but, you know, it's really, really good. So it just kind of... You, you, you're speaking about zibibo, no? You have a yes, you have Sorry, I was just yeah. changing because it, it came yeah. to mind. If you remember some Nord Italy... Uh, wine like aromatic because we, we remember to our to, to uh, we remember that Zibibo is uh, re uh, real aromatic grapes from from the aromatic family. If you remember some Nord Italy wine like Tramine, yes, something it's completely different. Yes, yeah, it's, it's 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 something from the nose. Yes, but when you taste when you taste it. That so, is true. That is true. Sometimes Nord wine in is very intensive nose, and when you taste, you uh, lost a lot of sensation in your mouth. This, this wine, our wine, our Zibibo, maintain this. What you what say to the nose, say say the same to the, your mouth. And yes. Very good acidity. Uh, very long, long, long wine. It's maybe it's more strong to the mouth than the nose. It's very, very interesting. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a white wine lover. And no, it's, uh, it's very because, I mean, also there it's like, it's very salty and sea-like, of course. And then it's like the agrumi, the citrus. Yes, orange, orange uh, yeah. lemon, orange. Uh, why and also like the, the orange blossom it's like the, the flowers of the orange why with well, the white one the um, zagara, zagara yes. Is, yes the flower of the orange tree yes mm -hmm. it's strong to the nose and in the mouth um mature white peach yes, apricot, yes. Dry, something like dry apricot tree hand yes yes very sweet yeah no it's very nice thank you again roberto Cheers to you, Karina. Make it Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to everybody. Ciao. So, see you Ciao. next Tuesday. Thank you. Bye.